This ABC 15 News Update is sponsored by Sanderson Ford, America's best-selling Ford dealership. Hello, I'm Justin Pizer with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. It is the final push for the campaigns today from the gubernatorial to the Senate race. Candidates will be all across the valley and the state making a final plea to voters and the polls open tomorrow at 6 a.m. If you didn't fill out your early ballot, here's a look at some election day details. There are 223 voting centers in Maricopa County alone. So with just one more day left in the campaign, what advantages and disadvantages are both political parties facing? Our Joe St. George takes a look. Well, it's finally election week. By now, the money has mostly all been spent. The final ads are airing, all signs pointing to a historic turnout. So with just a few hours left, who has the advantage going into Election Day? Let's start with the GOP. Advantage number one for them, recent history. If we look at the poster of all the men who've held the job of president, you realize quickly that recently they tend to have rough midterm elections during their first term. George Herbert Walker Bush, his Republican Party didn't win in 1990. Bill Clinton's Democrats lost big in 94. So did Democrats in 2010 when Obama was president. And Trump lost the House in 18. George W. Bush, the only recent president not to suffer a setback, but 9-11 happened and his approval ratings were high. Republican advantage number two, inflation in the economy. While you can debate what role Democrats actually played in creating inflation, the reality is voters in nearly every poll care about this issue more than any other. And Republicans maintain the edge when it comes to who Americans think can fix it. My fellow Americans, folks can win. But don't count out just yet the Democratic Party, especially when it comes to the Senate. Democratic advantage number one, a friendly map and inexperienced GOP candidates. Of all these nine swing states, Democrats currently control five of them and all their candidates have a real shot at re-election. If Democrats just win what they already control, they'll keep control of the Senate. Democrats could also even flip a red state like Pennsylvania, not to mention Republican Senate candidates in Arizona and Colorado, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New Hampshire are all running what experts say are solid campaigns, but not one of them has actually held elected office before. And finally, Democratic advantage number two, an unprecedented concern about democracy. This is the first major federal election since the January 6th attack at the Capitol, and we still don't know if Republicans will be penalized for their alleged role on that day. One thing is clear, the White House will have to work with whichever party controls Congress after Tuesday's election. If Republicans take back just one chamber, it will create new political debates in this country over everything from the IRS to the border. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George. A distemper outbreak at the Maricopa County Animal Care and Control is forcing the shelter to euthanize 27 dogs. The viral disease is highly contagious and affects the nervous system. The shelter is closed in the meantime. Gas prices held steady all weekend long. As you head out today, expect to pay about $4.51 a gallon in the valley. That is still 70 cents higher than the national average. Heads up for anyone that is shopping for an iPhone this holiday season. Apple is warning customers that they'll have to wait longer to get the latest model because of the COVID-19 lockdowns that are happening right now in China. Apple says one of its factories is working at a significantly reduced capacity. These lockdowns in China were prompted by a surge in COVID-19 infections in some cities. Well, tonight's Powerball drawing is closing in on that $2 billion mark with a cash option of over $900 million. A ticket and a dream will cost you two bucks. The chances of winning the Powerball, all right, they're pretty slim, but how about some extra holiday cash? ABC 15 Mornings has you covered with a chance to win $1,000 every weekday. Just look for the word of the day from six to seven. Time for that most accurate forecast here on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. That temperature today still on the warm side. Look for a high of 80 degrees today in Phoenix. It'll be warm out west too, upper 70s uh, in spots like Bullhead City and like Havasu Yuma near 80 today too. Temperatures in northern Arizona, meanwhile, will reach the 50s to 60s. Spots like Prescott up to 63. 70 though in Winslow, 55 in Flagstaff and 59 in Heber. We're going to start the week warm and then temperatures will drop by midweek and into the end of the week as we see another storm system. It'll be nice by election day though, a high of 79 that day, then to or rather than Wednesday, we're cooling into the low 70s as we see an uptick in those rain chances and it looks like we've got a 40% chance for rain with scattered showers possible all day long, but the best potential will come by Wednesday evening into Wednesday night. Then cooler air moves in and that high drops to 68 by Thursday, but we'll rebound into the low 70s just in time for the upcoming weekend.
Get another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or by downloading the free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 News Update is sponsored by Sanderson Ford, America's best-selling Ford dealership.